She calls it the place of her magical childhood, but much like a dream, the tranquil mountain village of Marianne's past is now only a memory. Remnants and ruins of Bamberton stand hidden above the Malahat, where once there was a thriving community. Our life was like Disneyland. It was absolutely wonderful. We, we had special places we played in. Every day was creating a new world. There was forts and magic, and we didn't need a lot of toys. We just had imagination in this wonderful location to live in. I think this might have been my mother right here. Terry Brunt spent his entire childhood in Bamberton, a company town providing homes for cement plant workers and their families, a self-contained village with a school, a recreation center, and the ocean and mountains as a playground. As an adult, Terry followed in his father's footsteps and worked as an electrician at the plant, spending a total of three decades as a resident of the tiny village. I carry a lot of uh, nostal nostalgic moments. Uh, you know, playing with my friends, and it was character building. Bamberton, for those who grew up there as children, was a place of happy times, incredible beauty, and freedom from fear. Marianne spent 10 years there with her parents and siblings. A generation before, in the 1920s, her dad had been raised in the village, and like his father before him, worked at the cement plant. The plant closed in 82. He was handed his pink slip in just before Christmas. I think it was December 23rd. It was quite devastating, It's very depressing because his whole world was in Bamberton. That was the beginning of the end for Bamberton. The plant shut down, folks moved out, houses were removed, and the gates were closed. The close-knit community would now exist only in memories. 100 years after its beginning in 1912, former residents gathered on the lawn of the only remaining house and rekindled relationships with those who had once shaped their lives as neighbors and friends and reminisced about having lived a unique life. We were sheltered here. We were sort of isolated from any other communities, but we were safely nestled in the side of the mountain. We were allowed to roam the property freely at any time except we weren't allowed to go down where the industrial operation was on. Even though little remains, an overgrown road, a few stone walls, the Bamberton of Marianne Lang's childhood will always be magical. We walk down that village road because we do the tours here and it feels the same. It feels like it's Bamberton still, so it's not really sad. It's quite, it's quite enlightening. It's quite wonderful. It's a very powerful place for us to come to. The site is closed to the public, although tours can be arranged through the town's historic society. Reporting from Bamberton for Shaw TV, I'm Terry Church.